Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another episode of ProCon Know How with myself, Jakobus Oberholster. I'm an AEC and ProCon technical consultant with Micrographics. And today's episode will cover just some node modeling tips within Frame, because that is that is really where we spend most of our time when modeling something in Frame, is of actually defining all of the nodes. So I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks just to speed up the modeling process a bit and just how to understand the remainder of these columns so that you don't have to define them one by one. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So I'm going to start off by defining a column there. So of course I start with node number one at position zero, zero, zero. How many more nodes do I want? So number of, I want four more nodes. And this is the node number increment. Okay, so this means it counts upwards with that increment from the first node of the line. So I say one, my x increment is nothing, but my y increment is going to be one meter. Okay, and there you see y is four, three, two, one, and zero. If I set use end, that means one meter will be the top node, and then it will divide the number of nodes into that one meter. If I leave it blank, it accepts it as an increment, so you don't have to put in in there. All right, so now I want another one of these columns. So I use a hyphen, and what the hyphen does is it copies the row above. So only one row, just copies one row above, and I'm now going to create a copy. So number of, I'm going to create one copy, the node increment. So I look at the maximum nodal value there, so I know that all the other corresponding nodes need to be five more or five higher in number than that node or those nodes. So I say five. My X increment then is the position of this column and I want position that X five. So there you go. X is five meters for all of them. Exactly the same Y coordinates. And you can see that one plus five is six, two plus five is seven, three plus five is eight, four plus five is nine. 5 plus 5 is 10. So now there's another copying function, or it's called block copy. So I could just say B. And then I need to enter the row or rows I want to copy. So I want to copy row 1. So it's going to be B1. I don't put in anything in the X, Y, and Z columns. How many copies am I going to create? I'm going to create one copy. My node increment, the maximum node is, is 10. So I need to ensure that all of these are more than those maximum nodes there. So my nodal increment is going to be 10 and my X increment or X end is going to be 10. And there you go. And the reason why it doesn't matter whether I'm using X increment or X end is just because I've got one of these. Okay, so I'm going to delete this quickly. If we look at the copy function, we can say number of two. And that will do exactly the same thing. All right, so that's very cool, actually. I do, it's becoming aware of those functions really can save you a heck of a lot of time. So I'm going to continue on with this model. So we've got our three columns there. And now I'll look at my last node number was 15. So I need to start at 16 again. And now I want to create these uh, trusses, basically. Okay, so I'm happy with those ones. Now I want to create one more of those. Or rather, let me create the center point up top there. So that will be node 18. X increment is 2.5 because that's right in the middle and at 6.5 meters and that's the there. So now I want to create a copy of these two rows with this point here. So what I'm going to say is B. So that's row one, two, three, and four. So I want to copy row three and four. The number of copies is one. The node increment is three and my x increment is 
five. And there you go. All right, so that's block copy and you can copy multiple rows with block copy. The hyphen is a single row copy. All right, now I wanna create the, the nodes for the other side. So I'm going to go to two, four, and five, one, and one, and then minus one, because I'm going to the left, and my Y increment is one. And then I'm going to create the copy, or I can use B. Number of is one, node increment should be three. And X increment is 10. Hold on there. I schnookered myself with that one. But apologies, sorry, because it's from there. Okay. And there we have defined a total of 26 nodes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 lines. Okay, let's quickly go define our sections. So I'm going to call this call. That's beam. Putting an H section into there and an IP 200 section into there. So that double hyphen is if, if the nodes follow in sequence. So just stay aware of that. All right, and so now we're going to do one last thing. And what we are going to do is we're going to block copy these. So let's say two of these frames. So again, we must just count the number of rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it's going to be B, one, two, seven. We want two of these copies, and we're going to work in a Z increment of five meters. Oh, yes, and my nodal increments, apologies. So nodal increments should be 26. There we go. If I now go to beams, we can just redefine all of those again. And also you can go with number of extra, and node number increment. So this should be, I believe, two and one. Oh yes, hold on, two and 26. Okay, some of them are not gonna work out. Oh no, they are working out, sorry. That was just the angle that, that fooled me there. And the last one. Oh, it's right at the top. Three, two, and six. And there you go. Three frames just like that. By making use of the number of extra and the node number increment. And remember always a good guy for the node number increment was the was the largest node number at the time when you create the copy. Okay, so remember when we created the first line, the highest or the largest node was node number five, and then that becomes our node increment. But always remember, it just depends on how you entered your node number. So do keep track of that. 
but I really hope that that helped you a lot. I hope that it speeds up just your, your modeling time in frame. And please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see in the comments below. Or you can reach out to us at Micro Graphics and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in and hope that you have a wonderful day further.